Hello and welcome to Let's Play Prince of Persia on the Sega Master System by Jordan Mechner. Prince of Persia is a registered trademark of Brodobon Software Inc. Copyright 1989-1992 Brodobon Software Inc. Um, all rights reserved, licensed by Sega Enterprises. Code JTRIP K Parker. Okay, the story of the game is that while the Sultan of Persia is away fighting a war, um, Jafar takes power. Um, Jafar orders the Sultan's daughter um, to marry him in order to consolidate his power. Um, he locks her in a room for 60 minutes and if she hasn't agreed to marry him after 60 minutes he's going to kill her. Um, we play as an unnamed protagonist whom the princess loves um, who has been locked in the dungeon by Jafar. Um, we therefore have 60 minutes in which to escape the dungeon, um, defeat Jafar and rescue the Sultan's daughter. And, uh, and therefore become the Prince of Persia. Um, it's debatable how many levels there are in this game. Um, some sources say 11, some 12. Um, I personally think there are 14. Um, I'm going to count a level as, um, as uh, the gameplay in between passwords. So um, when we start the game we get the first password and then the first level starts. Um, so in my opinion, um, each new level starts after we get a password. Um, the reason why some people don't um, why some people don't go by that is because um, there are port calluses and um, some people like to think that the end of a level is only when you reach a port cullis. Um, I'm not one of those people. Um, I'm going to count a new level as starting when we get a new password. Um, so in my opinion there are 14 levels. Um, therefore, um, in this video, the first part, I'm going to be doing the first seven levels and in the next video I'm going to be doing the last seven levels and completing the game. Okay, um, so yeah, without further ado, um, let's play the game. Yeah, uh, this is actually um, one of those platformers that involves lots of jumping and climbing uh, and things. Um, uh, there is sword fighting as well, but in this version of Prince of Persia, the sword fighting is really easy. Um, in my experience, you never have to block by pressing button 2. You just keep button mashing button 1, and you will always defeat your opponent, no matter how many um, health points they have. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so press button 2 for options. Okay, we can change the, uh, the start time from uh, from 60 to 15 to 30 to 60. All that's doing is, is just making it harder for yourself, so I'll leave it as a default, which is 60. And again, you can change um, your starting health from 3 units to 1 to 2 to 3 again. Um, again, that just makes it more difficult. Just leave it as 3, really. That's what I'm going to do. So, anyway, that's that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's press the start button, button 1. And um, you can actually enter a password here, but this is actually the first password. If you put in anything else, well, that isn't a password, that isn't AAAA or another password, um, you won't be able to start. So the first password is AAAAAA. Um, anyway, so that's the first password, and here's the first level. Now we have 60 minutes left, um, and let's go. Okay. Okay, from the start, go right. Run over that, that's it. Turn around, hold button 1 and press left and you will sneak forward. Okay, get close to the edge, turn around and press down and this will happen. Um, hold button 1 to dangle and release to fall, that's it. Um, it's important to fall um, like that uh, because if you fall down the full two stories without dangling you'll lose a health point. Um, I think if you fall more than two stories you'll die instantly and you'll have to start the level again so always make sure you dangle and fall like that if you can anyway at the bottom if you go right this happens oh dear we can't fight him yet uh, because we don't have a sword if you try to fight him or if you try to get past him without a sword or if you do have a sword and you put it away then try to get past him you will die instantly so you need a sword to get past him um, there are some enemies you, you can get past and run away from without fighting but um, uh, that's later on in the game that one I think I'm pretty sure you have to defeat him anyway press the button and run across don't fall in the spikes instant death of course okay here 
um, press the button, go forward a bit, and do a long jump by pressing button, to, um, or rather holding button two, then pressing left. That's it. Uh, to climb up, just um, just hold up like that. Okay, run across this. Don't fall down there, of course. Okay. Okay, here. Um, the button closest to me will open the door. Uh, uh, the button on the other side will close the door. The trouble is, if you stand on the button, then do a long jump, you'll land on the other button and close it. And also, if you open the door, then take too long getting to the other side without pressing the other button, the door will also close. So you have to be quick and avoid the other button. The best way to do this is to run across the button and then jump like that. There we go. And then quickly climb up before it closes, because that is quite annoying if, if you don't make it. Okay, here, go forward a bit. Uh, do a big jump by holding button 2 and then pressing left. Um, fall down there. Um, I think this one um, collapses as well. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's best to go the bottom way because then you don't have to um, drop down. Yeah, you, you, um, you don't have to do the dangling thing to drop down because you won't lose any health just by dropping down one story. Anyway, here's the sword. Um, to pick up the sword, just um, hold down. And then we get a jingle. Lovely. Okay, so now um, whenever we're facing an enemy, um, he, he will get the sword out automatically. I think you can put the sword away by pressing the direction that you're not facing. Um, I can't remember how to get the sword out again. Uh, I think it might be button one. Maybe. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, it does become important later on in the game to put the sword away eventually. Um, sword fighting. Um, in this version of Prince of Persia, um, sword fighting is really easy. Um, all you have to do is button mash, button one, and um, more than likely you will defeat the, uh, the opponent, um, no matter how much health he has. Um, you can block by pressing button two, but you have to time it because blocking only lasts for a fraction of a second. And and again, um, in other versions of Prince of Persia, such as the PC and the Amiga versions, um, um, sword fighting uh, sword fighting is a little bit harder and you need to learn how to block. In this version of Prince of Persia you don't have to, It's you just have to button mash button one and you're more than likely to defeat the opponent as long as you sort of try to time your attacks really. Um, but yeah, I've never needed to block in this game but it is there if you want it. I, I'll try to show it off later in the game when I have more health but I only have three points of health, this, um, I, don't, um, I don't really want to waste any health at this point. Anyway, here's that man again, so he gets the sword out automatically. That's it. He's pretty easy, just just keep trying. He, he will block some of the time, but yeah, he's easy. And he's dead. Okay, here's the portcullis. Um, some think uh, that this represent the, is the only way to represent the end of a level. Um, I don't agree with that. I, I usually go by the passwords. So, but yeah, this is the this is the end of the first level. Uh, to open it, just press the button there and then go inside by pressing up, and then that's the end of the level. Lovely jubbly. New password is uh, that, so you can get to the, uh, this level again, the level that's uh, just coming up by putting that password in. But I won't write that down because I don't need it. Okay, 57 minutes left. Okay, this level. Okay, go left from the start. Um, do this. That's it. And then go to the wall on the right. Turn around and wait. That's it. Get your sword out automatically. Um, and then And then fight this man. Oh, he managed to get a hit in the git. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, that's the easiest way of dealing with this man, in my opinion. Um, if you want, um, you can run across the two platforms and end up here. Um, but in my experience, if you do that, he'll be right next to you. And um, it's very close whether you get your sword out in time before he kills you. So um, if you do what I did, that gives you more time to play around with. Anyway, once he's dead, um, go this way. Okay, that potion there is the red potion. Um, that's a nasty potion. It'll take off a health point, so avoid red potions. It's a nasty potion, that is. Okay. Um, actually, what's uh, what's beyond the red potion? Oh, nothing. It's just a wall. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, 
avoid red potions. Okay, to get past the spikes, um, just do a long jump like this. For some reason it doesn't hurt if you jump through spikes, only if you jump on spikes. So you have to remember that. Anyway, to get to the platform over there, we need to do a running jump. So get as close to the right as you can. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, okay, that'll do. Okay, do a running jump. Beautiful, there we go. Yeah, because we need to get up there. There should be another man to fight up here, if I remember. And climb up just by holding up. That's it, that's all you need to do. And then there's another man to fight. That's it, beautiful. One more. He's finished, easy. Easier than the last one. Okay. Go up here. Okay, the blue potion down there is the opposite of the red one. It will give you a health point, so you can get it if you want. Which I will do just to show you. Okay, press down to climb down like before. There we go, don't fall. And pick it up. Lovely, there's a health uh, There's a health back. Anyway, go up here. Back where you were, I think, that's it. Yeah, that's it, good. It's another man to fight. Come on then. Let's do this. Why aren't you moving? There we go, he's finished, lovely. Okay, uh, the green potion uh, will give you an extra health point, so it'll put our maximum up to four. Um, so if you see a green one, always take it. I can't remember how, there are, how many there are in the game, but I'll try to get them all. Because they are pretty handy. They make the game easier. Especially if you start on... Uh, uh, if you make the difficulty harder by starting on one health point. Which uh, uh, which you might want to do if you're a masochist. Um, up there um, is another red potion and a dead end. So if you want to hurt yourself, uh, there's another red potion there. But I shan't bother wasting the time to show you. Anyway... Um, now for this man, you need to get close enough to him so that you don't fall down the hole um, when you jump, but you need to be far away enough from him um, so that he doesn't kill you instantly when you land, uh, because if he's too close to you when you land, um, you won't have enough time to get your sword out and he'll kill you. So um, jump from about here. That's it. Yeah, perfect. Good. And then get your sword out and then attack him. There we go. Oh, he got me. There we go. Okay, uh, there is a blue health potion up there, but if you want it, you'll have to get hurt because you need to jump and knock the ceiling down, which will take a health point away. So it's not really worth getting. Um, so just go this way. Okay, do a long jump to get through there without getting hurt, that's it. Okay, do another long jump. That's it, perfect. Climb up here. Climb up again, I think. Um, fiddle D. Yeah, go this way, I think. Yeah, here we go. Another sword fight up here, unfortunately. Come on. There we go, he's finished. Okay, here's the end of the level, but we have to press a button first. The button is over here. Um, you can get to this button uh, by going uh, where I was earlier, but going left instead of going up again, and then you'll end up um, on the platform below me. But it's easier if you do it this way, in my opinion, because the jumps are easier. Anyway, we need to do another long jump, so... Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, that's open the portcullis. Unfortunately, we need to do another long jump to get back. There we go, lovely. And that's the end of the uh, second level. Fifty-three minutes left. Okay, this level. Okay, from the start, go right. Um, after a short detour, there's another green potion to get. Uh, this green potion isn't really necessary if you want to complete the game, but it's interesting enough to show you. 
Um, if you are just trying to complete this game, I'd advise that you ignore this green potion because it is quite difficult to get. Uh, there are two leaps of faith and a nasty trap. Um, and you have to do the leaps of faith two times and you have to do the trap two times because you have to come back. Anyway, so here's the first one. And the second one is just here. There we go. Okay, um, jump and make the ceiling come down, which might hurt. No, nope, it didn't hurt me for some reason. I must have been standing in the right place. But even if it did hurt you, uh, the green potion will get your health up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, here's the nasty trap. Okay, go now. That's it. Um, the, the way back is slightly harder because uh, the trap is, you know, because it's going the opposite way. So... Okay, it's important to time this. Now, there we go, beautiful. Yeah, I usually like to go um, just after the, um, a fraction of a second after the third one opens again. Okay, so go down here again. Nope, not far enough. Okay, um, now these jumps are awkward. Um, when you're going back. Okay. There's the first one. Now, if you jump from here, um, you will over jump it and you'll fall off the other side. Um, but if you take a step back, um, you will have to jump and grab onto the ledge like this. That's it, by pressing button 1 and then pressing up to climb up. Yeah, so that's the only way to do that. If you jump from where the button is, um, you will jump too far and fall off the other side. But, uh, but if you jump uh, from just a step back, um, you won't make it and you'll have to... Um, yeah, you won't make it and you'll have to grab on. So that's the only way to do that, really. Anyway, so... Um, go back to where we were. There we go. Hopefully we haven't wasted too much time. And fall off. There we go. Beautiful. And then we're back at the beginning again. And from here, go right. Yeah, that one's easy after what we've been through. Am I right? Okay, go up here. Okay, um, go this way. Um, now, as far as I'm aware, the only skeleton in the game is up here. I don't think there's another skeleton in this game, which I think was one of the complaints about the Master System version, but that's just how it is. This is the only skeleton. Um, don't worry, he won't attack yet. Uh, there's also a health potion up there to the right, I think, if you want it. I might show you that if I need it. Okay. That opens that. Okay, go down here. Is that far enough? Nope. A little bit more. There we go. There's the button to open the portcullis for the end of the level. That's, uh, that's the way to the fourth level. And then go all the way to the top. I don't know if there's a time limit. Uh, I'll assume there isn't because I've never really... I've never really had any problems with it, but I don't know, there might be if you take too long. I don't know. Anyway, so... Unfortunately, the skeleton will now be alive. Uh, you can't kill the skeleton, you have to knock it off. So, you have to keep fighting it and moving forward when you can. That's it. Ah, it's got me. Come on. That's it. Just keep trying to move forward because you need to knock it off because it has infinite health. There we go. Come on. Ah, got me again. I'll have to get that health potion now. I have no choice. 
Come on, you're, you're embarrassing me. Come on. There we go, he's gone. Okay, so I'll have to get that health now. It's over here, I think. Yeah, here it is. Only gives me one health point there. What's over here? Um, A blocked door, doesn't matter. Who knows where it leads? It certainly doesn't lead to the end of the level, which is over here. Anyway, unfortunately, knocking the skeleton off hasn't actually uh, gotten rid of it yet. Because um, it's just down here where we were before. So we have to knock it off another time. So. There we go. So we have to do it again. Be careful that you don't um that you get that you that you make it so that he gets the sword out um pretty quickly, otherwise he could kill you instantly if you don't have your sword equipped. Come on. Ah, oh, got my health going off. Come on. There we go, thank you. Yeah, really annoying that is. Um I'm both glad and not glad that it's the only one in the game because I'm glad because it's actually quite hard and I'm not glad because it actually makes the game pretty interesting. But yeah, that's how you get rid of that skeleton. Oh good, um, there isn't a time limit, um, I assume. Anyway, that's the end of the uh, third level. There's the password. We now have 48 minutes left. Fourth level. Okay, uh, press the button and then go through the door like that. Okay, press the next button and then go through the door. Um, if you if you go right and fall down the hole, um, that will take you to a later part of the level. But it will take you to a later part of the level prematurely, in my opinion. Anyway, um, the button that's in front of me, to the left of me, um, that closes the door. So um, stand about there. I have to press it again now. Yeah, so stand about there, um, and then do a jump. That's it. But don't jump too far, otherwise you might fall down this hole. There we go. Um, jump over it, and then run across this like that because of that. Okay, get the blue potion, which you might need or might not. Doesn't matter. I always get it anyway. Okay. Okay. Be careful not to fall down that hole. I nearly did there. But I just remembered it was there, so I pressed left to stop myself. Okay, jump over it. Okay, edge close to this uh, this edge here. Um, dangle down like that, and then get to the bottom. Don't fall down that hole; it's instant death, I think. Um, well, it's far enough anyway. Um, press the switches and then go over it like that. Okay, this is where that hole would have taken you earlier, I think. So go through that door quickly. If if the door closes on you, if it if it closes on you, you'll have to go back and press it again. I can't remember where it is, but it's back to the left somewhere. Anyway, so that's done. Um, there's another enemy and some health down here if you want it, uh, but I don't need it. But I'll get it anyway because it's it's a laugh. There we go. But yeah, if you don't if you don't want to fight him and you don't need the health, just uh, just jump over this thing and. You won't have to fight him, but... What's the point of playing a game if you can't have a bit of fun? Anyway, we're coming up to a bit of the game that has um, a certain plot point in it. Um, like the skeleton thing, um, it's, it's a plot point that's more relevant in the Amiga and PC versions of the game. Because um, what this thing does is... Um, it, it doesn't really have much of an impact on the rest of the game uh, like it did in the PC and Amiga versions, but uh, you know, it does it anyway. There is a little glitch uh, sort of cheat you can do to, to avoid it, or rather avoid seeing it, but it still happens even if you can't see it. Anyway, yeah, to the left back there is a dead end and a blocked door or something. Anyway, there's a button there. Be careful of the spike trap here. That's it. Lovely. Okay, here's the exit, but we can't get to it yet. I think the button is down below. There's another button here. Okay, climb up here. Okay, dangle down here. Be careful of the of the trap here. Okay, press the button. Can't remember what that one does. 
it might open the portcullis, it might not. Now carefully edge your way across here so you don't go into the trap by accident. Here we go. There we go, lovely. Lovely jubbly. And again. Okay, go to the left. There's another green potion over here. That's it, lovely. Another man to fight. Come on. There we go, he's finished. Nice and easy. Okay, so go this way again. Now jump over the spike trap, of course. Now, if you go to the platform... If you go to the platform above the green potion, um, there's no way out of that area without... Uh, without ending the level, and that's because it does a sort of, uh, I don't know if, it, if it's a glitch or a cheat, um, uh, but it, it means that if you try, when you get to the platform above, which is the one just underneath the uh, the exit portcullis we saw earlier, uh, the only way off that platform is it does a sort of weird glitch where you keep, um, where you can't fall down back to the platform with the green potion on it, you sort of... You sort of keep jumping on the, in in mid air, and then eventually you fall through the ceiling uh, and back where the uh, portcullis is, so you can end the level. Um, so, so yeah, so you have no you have no choice but to do that. But if you do that, um, you will miss a certain plot point. So if if you're looking to save time, that will save time, but um, you, you won't get to see this plot point of the game. Uh, it still happens, the plot point, you just don't get to see it, because um, the thing that it does, um, it still causes things to happen later on in the game. So, yeah, so this is what happens. Yeah, there's some sort of weird mirror here now, and if you run through it, this happens. It's sort of sinister, there's a reflection of you, and if you run through it, which you have to, this happens. I need to jump through it, I think. There we go. Yeah, and it sort of made a mirror image of you. You have to jump through it to get through. So if you did the glitch to get to the ending, end of the level, you wouldn't get to see that, but you'd still see your mirror, Im yeah, you'd still see your mirror image later on in the game. But yeah, so that's why I didn't like to do that. I didn't like to do that glitch. So yeah, if you're on the um, the platform, uh, the platform underneath me, uh, that's the one that's above the green potion. So if you get on that platform and you try to walk off to the left, back to the green potion platform, you sort of keep walking on, you keep walking on air, and then you fall through the floor, and then end up coming through the ceiling and land back here again, and then you and, and then you can exit, and then when you get here again. Um, well, when you get to the right again, you just see the mirror, but because the mirror is to the right of you, you can't go through it and see your reflection coming out of it again, which which misses uh, it misses a certain plot point of the game, which is why I didn't like to do I don't like to do that glitch, but uh, it is there if you want it if you want to save time. Anyway, that's the end of the uh, the fourth level. So yeah, it's an interesting plot point, but again, it's more pronounced in the uh, in the PC and Amiga versions of the game, I think. Anyway, we now have 43 minutes left, and here's the fifth level. Okay. Okay, press the button, and then go right through the door. Be careful not to fall off the edge here, it's easily done. Okay, fight this man. Uh, there are loads of enemies to fight in this level, I think. Okay, if you notice, he has four points of health. I can't remember if any um, if any in the last level had four points of health or not. I wasn't paying attention, but uh, the enemies at the start of the game only had three points of health, so they're definitely getting harder. Oh, he's taken a health point off me, the git. Yeah, so they're definitely getting harder, and they'll get even harder later on. Okay, uh, no more skeletons, though, as far as I'm aware. Okay, climb up here. Um, now, this next bit I'm going to show you is entirely optional. You can just go left and just... Um, get to the end of the level more quickly but um, this thing is is really interesting in my opinion okay so go right and you think to yourself oh there's a nice health potion for me and I do actually need it because of that man I just fought um, and if you notice there's a button to the right of the trap uh, that button will open the door on the top left of the screen now however and I have experimented and tried it with both um, 
regardless of whether you press the button and open the door or not uh, this will always happen i have avoided the button and all that happens is the door opens anyway so this always happens no matter what there's no way you can get this health potion because this happens here we go there's your mirror image he always takes the potion um so you, um, so you can't get it um, even if you press the button or not. I, I have tried, believe me. So yeah, that's the mirror image we saw in the last level. So even if you did the glitch in the last level and didn't actually see your mirror image appear, uh, that will still happen. So it doesn't matter if, if you allow if, if you did the glitch or not, really. Okay. Okay, here we need to be very, very quick. Uh, and that's because this switch opens a door that's on a very short timer. So you need to do a big jump like this. And walk to the edge. Uh, dangle down, quickly drop down, and then press button one to grab on, and quickly climb up as fast as you can. Quick! Oh, blimey, that was just about to close. Trust me. Uh, the annoying thing is, um, if you do muck that up, you have to climb all the way to the top again, because uh, you only really get one chance at that. Anyway, um, I might have said at the start of this video that uh, that you press um, that you press the bu uh, the directional button um, that you're not facing. In order to put the, uh, in order to resheath your sword, um, I think I was wrong. I think it's the down button actually. I think it's just returned to me. Yeah, I think it's down to resheath your sword, and you press button one to get it out again. But anyway, about that jump, yeah, that honestly, uh, that door there was just about to close. Um, and if you try to go through it when it's just closing, just about to close, when the first notch has come down, then you can't go through. It's really annoying that jump. Anyway, yeah, so if you get your sword out, like uh, like that, there we go, and then press down, it puts it away. Press button 1 to get it out again. If you do put your sword away, uh, only one hit will kill you. This man needs five hits, so he's even harder than the others, but it isn't really his sword skill that's any different, really. It's just, he just needs more hits. I mean, either they're easy or they're not. Anyway, be careful here. Don't jump too close to the hole, otherwise... Uh, you will fall in at the next hole. So edge your edge your way forward like that. There we go. No, don't do no, don't do that. Put it away. Okay. Yeah, it's annoying actually. I wanted him to. I'll have to. I'll have to go to this edge and then jump from here. I think. There we go. Quick. There we go. Good. Yeah, because I didn't want to jump and then land too close to him, otherwise he will kill me instantly. He also needs five hits, but you know, you know, he's just as easy as the others. All I'm doing is just pressing, bu um, is just pressing button one over and over again. That's all I'm doing. Oi! How dare you! Down to my last two bits of health now. Okay, nearly there. Lovely. And there's the uh, uh, there's the button for the portcullis. And that's the end of the level. Lovely. Okay, so that was the fifth level. Uh, uh, we have 39 minutes left. Uh, the sixth level is is just coming up. Um, the thing about the sixth level is it's the first one that doesn't well, it doesn't end in a portcullis. Um, it ends. Uh, it's a short level. Um, but it ends um, by dropping down a hole and then you get to another password screen. And some people think it's not really the end of the sixth level, it's like the next part of the sixth level. But I count it as just the sixth level and the one after it is the seventh level. Anyway, let's go. Here's the sixth level. Okay, press the button and then go through the door. Oh yeah, this bit. Okay, um, walk through the spikes and then they won't kill you. That's it. Lovely. Okay, here you need to be pretty quick, unfortunately. Because um, I think the door is... I think it's timed. So jump, uh, press the switch and jump from about here. There we go, good. And then just walk through. There we go, lovely. Oh, that was close. Okay, go through here. That's it. 
demand a fight. Yeah, luckily health is restored between levels, so even though I ended the last level with, with two health points, this one, I, I, um, I'm back to six. Yeah, um, if you want, you can knock this man off, but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, he's pretty easy. Okay. Okay, now this is the end of the level. Um, try to jump across this, or try to grab on or something, and this happens. Um, he's your mirror image person from before. Yeah, so you can't climb up there, so you have to drop down. And that's the end of the sixth level. Although, as I as I stated before, um, some people think that isn't the end of the sixth level, that's only the end of the first half, but um, I'm going by passwords, so in my opinion that's the end of the sixth level. So some people call that level 6A and the next one level 6B. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the sixth level. So just one more, and then I am... Uh, and, and then I'm ending the video. So 38 minutes left. Okay, let's go. Okay, press button one to hold on like that, otherwise you will die. Okay, big jump and then grab on. That's it. Good. Um, don't worry about the pink potion down there. I'll get that later. Okay, keep running to the right. Don't fall down there. Okay, touch the ceiling. That's it. And then, uh, oh good, didn't get hurt. And then jump up through the gap. Um, get past the easy trap, and then there's someone to fight here, I think. Yep. Ow. How dare you. You'll be hearing from my solicitor in the morning. Okay, here um, the second switch closes the door, so we'll have to jump over the spikes and the switch. There we go, like that. Can't rem can't remember what's down there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, up here, get the sword out immediately, because you're very close to him. There we go, lovely. Down here, there's another easy trap to get past. There we go, easy. Alright, um, that's where we were before. I suppose we could have dropped down, but um, it doesn't matter. Get another person quick. Oh, that was close. God, I nearly didn't get my sword out in time. That was too close for comfort. That's why you want to be careful in this game, really. Come on. Ow! How dare you. There we go, right. Okay, right, now here's that pink potion. Now the pink potion makes it so that we can fall any distance without dying or getting hurt, and we need it here because of this. Yeah, because of that. Now there is a green potion down here, but you have to be very quick, because this door here will close very quickly. Um, so I advise you do long jumps to make yourself go a bit faster so that you can um, make the door. So uh, just, keep hold of, uh, just keep hold of button two. Yes, yeah, see, that's how fast you have to be. If you don't make it, um, there's no way of opening that door, and the only way to uh, the only way to get out of that place is to kill yourself um, by getting into a very awkward door to the right. Which uh, there's, yeah, there is a switch for it, but you have to be very quick, um, and it leads to two death points. So that's the only uh, that's the only way uh, that's the only way out of that that I know. Anyway, that's the green potion. So we're up to seven uh, points of health, and that's the end of the seventh level. Or level 6B, as some people like to call it. Anyway, uh, that's the end of uh, that's the end of part one. Now we have 35 minutes left. That's more than enough time to complete the game. So here's the eighth level. 
Uh, so I shall pause it there um, and end the video. So thank you very much for watching. In part two, I shall be completing the game and becoming the Prince of Persia. So thanks again and goodbye.